Hi friends, in a previous tutorial we had implemented Spring Cloud Gateway Hello World example. In this tutorial we'll be exploring Spring Cloud Gateway filters. So we'll be looking at what are filters and its various types. For this I'll be taking reference of my website javainews.com. So go to Spring, Netflix, Spring Cloud. The tutorial that we are going to see today is Spring Cloud Tutorial Spring Cloud Gateway Filters example. I'll be sharing this URL along with the YouTube video. In a previous tutorial we had implemented Spring Cloud Gateway Hello World example. You can go through this tutorial here. I have given the video tutorial here. You can go through this. Also the source code for this tutorial you can download it from here. For this tutorial where we are implementing Spring Cloud Gateway filters, we will be modifying the source code that we had developed in this tutorial. So download this source code. It is a Maven project and import it in Eclipse. In this tutorial we will be making use of Spring Cloud provided filters and create custom filters for a Spring Cloud Gateway. In the next tutorial, we will be integrating Spring Cloud Gateway with the Eureka service discovery. In a previous tutorial, we had seen the working of Spring Cloud Gateway. Let us uh, go through it once more. So suppose the client, he wants to make a call to either service 1 or service 2. He makes a call first to the Spring Cloud Gateway. The Spring Cloud Gateway Gateway Handler Mapping makes use of predicate to decide whether the service 1 should be called or service 2 should be called. Once the service gets executed, the response is returned back to the Spring Cloud Gateway and then this response is returned back to the client. Now before the incoming request is sent to the actual service, some filters can be applied to the incoming request. These filters are known as pre-filters. Similarly, once the service is executed, before sending the response back to the client, we can again apply some filters and these are known as post-filters. So in this example, we'll be looking at both pre-filters and post-filters using examples. As specified in the Spring Cloud Gateway documentation, Spring Cloud provides a number of built-in filters. So if you go to the documentation here, you'll see that there are gateway filter factories and global filters. On clicking on gateway filter factories, you will see that quite a few gateway filters have been provided by uh, Spring Cloud Gateway. Also global filters, they have provided good documentation. We'll be looking at some of these examples in this tutorial. Apart from the built-in filters provided by Spring Cloud Gateway, we'll also be creating our own custom filters to suit our business requirements. So let us begin with the implementation part. So as seen previously, Spring Cloud Gateway, they can be classified as Spring Cloud Gateway pre-filters and post-filters. So pre-filters, they get applied on the incoming request before the serv actual service gets called. And the post-filters, they are applied on the response before it is returned back to the client. Also Spring Cloud filters, they can be implemented in two ways. The first way is using Java configuration and the other is using property configuration. So we have already seen this in the previous tutorial where we implemented a Hello World example using Spring Cloud Gateway. So implementing Spring Cloud Gateway filters using Java configuration. So we'll be modifying the code that we had created in the previous tutorial. You can download the source code from here. In the previous Spring Cloud Gateway Hello World example, we had created these four modules. The first two modules are Cloud Gateway Service modules. The first module, it makes use of property based configuration, whereas the second one makes use of Java uh, based configuration. Then we had the first service and the second service. These both services, they get called from the Cloud Gateway service. Let us start these services. Uh, first, we are going to make use of Java based configuration for uh, Spring Cloud Gateway. So, I will be starting this service. Run as Java application. Similarly, start the first service and the second service. Source main Java in the second application. So, if we'll go here in uh, Cloud Gateway service, here we will find the configuration file and here we had defined the Spring Cloud Gateway rules. So if it had the keyword employee then the first service should get called and if it had the word uh, consumer in the URL then the second service should get called. So let us check this localhost 8080 this is the port on which our Cloud Gateway service was deployed and if we do an employee message we can see here that the first service is called and if instead of employee if we have consumer then the second service gets called now we'll be adding filters to this example for adding the filters we'll be modifying the java configuration as follows we'll be using the filters keyword and using this we'll be adding two filters one is a pre filter and the other is the post filter these are the filters that are provided by spring cloud gateway so we are not creating any custom uh, filters now but using some out of the box filters provided by spring cloud gateway so using java lambda expression here we are specifying that uh, for the incoming request we will be adding the following request header so the uh, request header name will be first request and its value will be first request header 
similarly for the outgoing response we using this post filter we'll be adding uh, the header first response and its value will be first response header similarly for the second route we'll be creating a filter uh, which will be adding a similar way uh, add request header and add response header so let us make this change this was our original route so we'll be making the change here we'll be first be adding the filters for the first route similarly we'll be adding the filter for the second route Now that we have created filters for adding request and response headers, we'll need to check if uh, our code is working or not. So in the controller uh, for the incoming request, we'll be checking if we have this request header first request. So we'll be adding this in the first controller. Similarly, in the second controller, we'll be checking if it has the re uh, request header second request. So let us make this change. So go to the first service, go to the first controller. So here we were just uh, first printing the message hello java news called in first service now we'll be getting the request header here and also we'll be printing this request header we'll be making a similar change in the second controller this will be second request and we'll be printing this these were the changes for the request header for the response headers we'll be making use of the uh, browser console to check if in the response uh, we are having our headers or not so let us start the application again run as java application start the first application and also the second application also here I will need to open the developer tools so that we can check the response header that we are getting so go to network okay. so now we will be first calling consumer message so if we select here message and if I just take this up so here we are getting the second response with the value second response header so our post filter is working good also if we go to the console here we are getting second request header so even our request header it is working good now let us check the first service it will be employee so if I can click on message here we are getting first response header and here if we'll see we'll be getting first request header so our pre uh, filters and post filters they are working good next we'll be implementing spring cloud gateway filters using property based configuration so in our application.yml file using the filters keyword we'll be adding the add request header and the add response header so you will be first specifying the header name and then the header value so let us make this change so currently we were making use of the java configuration for spring cloud gateway we were uh, defining the roots in the spring cloud config class now we'll be making use of another module where we had defined the spring cloud gateway using uh, property configuration so in the application.yml we had defined the route for the spring cloud gateway so let us add the filters here using property based configuration so copy these filters for the first route after the predicates for the first route add this similarly add the filters for the second route So let us start the application. Run as Java application. Also, we'll be starting the first service and the second service. And the second service here. Now let us check if the filters are getting added correctly using property based configuration. So I'll be refreshing this. So if you again click on message here we'll see that first response first response header is getting added and if we go to the console here first request header is also getting added also if we type here consumer we 
can see that the second response header is also getting added and in the console second request header is getting printed so our application it is working good using property based configuration for adding pre filters and post filters next we'll be creating custom filters so previously we have used filters that are provided out of the box by spring cloud gateway but suppose we want to create our own filters to suit our business needs we can do this by creating custom filters for this we make use of the abstract gateway filter factory we'll be creating a class named custom filter that extends the abstract gateway filter factory class and here we'll be overriding the method apply so inside this method we'll be defining our custom pre pre filter and the uh, custom post filter for the pre filter we can define logic suppose we want to extract some jwt token and then uh, perform authentication so this can be done here in the pre filter that is return exchange chain so after this we'll be defining here our logic for the pre filter and similarly for the uh, custom post filter here we have chain dot filter exchange so here we can define whatever post filter logic that we want suppose we want to return some error code based on uh, the type of exception that we are getting so this can be defined in our post custom post filter here so let us create this class named custom filter so here i'll be creating a new class it will be custom filter actually the spelling is wrong yeah com dot java news dot i'll be creating a package name filter and inside this i'll be copying this content so we have named it as custom filter so i'll be changing this name finally in the configuration file we'll have to specify the name of the custom filter that we have written so i'll be removing this spring cloud gateway uh, built in filters that we had used and here i'll be writing custom filter similarly for the second request i'll be making use of the same so we are done with the changes let us start this application run as java application in the custom filter if you'll see we are just uh, printing out some statements here but uh, currently in the first service and the second service we had written some code where we were getting some request headers and response headers so currently we'll not be requiring it so i'll be removing this part of the code that we had added similarly for the second controller so let us now start the first service and second service again run as java application run as java application let us now check our custom filter so if you now hit consumer message and if we go to the console here we can see that first pre filter is getting called and similarly the first post filter is also getting called if we now again go to the first route Here we can again see that the custom uh, filters they are getting called correctly. Finally, we'll be making use of global filters for our Spring Cloud Gateway application. So till now we had uh, created filters which we were applying for a specific route. But suppose now we want to apply the filters to all the routes. We can do this by creating global filters. So global filters they can be specified using Java configuration and property based configuration. Let us first look at global filters using property based configuration. So in our configuration uh, file that is the YAML file. using default filters we'll be specifying the global filter that we want to apply to all the routes here so we'll be copying this default filters custom filter so go to the application.yaml and here instead of specifying this filter for each and every route we'll be specifying it as global filters So let us now start the applications again. Run as Java application. Similarly, start the first service and the second service. Let us now test if the global filters they are getting applied. So I'll be hitting the first route. So I'm getting an exception here. Let us check the logs. So here it is showing unable to find loop gateway filter factory with the name customer filter. Okay, so the custom filter actually this should be capital C. 
so i'll be again starting this application application gateway well just started from here so the application has started let us now again check the rules so localhost 8080 employee slash message so if we go here we are seeing that the uh, custom global filters they are getting applied correctly also if we go now go to consumer message here again for the second route also uh, the filters they are getting applied correctly so our global filter using property based configuration it is wor working properly next we'll be applying the global filter using java based configuration creating global filters using java based configuration we create a bean of type global filter so uh, all the filters will be defining it in the global filter bean and these will get applied to all the routes so let us create this bean so go to the application api application gateway and here again putting some we are done with the changes also from the application.yaml file i'll be removing this default filter since we are using java configuration for creating the custom uh, global filters so let us start this application and also i'll be starting the first service and the second service again so let us test our global filters i'll be refreshing this if we go here we can see that first global filter second global filter so our post filters and pre filters they are getting applied correctly for the first route also if i hit the second route employee slash message here again the filters they are getting applied correctly so the global filters they are getting applied to all the routes hope you have understood this example the source code of whatever we have discussed regarding filters you can download it from here thank you run as java application